Okay, this shrink greengrass is just going to show you how to grab some prices off Yahoo Finance and draw a quick moving average. I'm going to move fairly quickly, um, so you might want to come back and watch bits and pieces. So I've gone to Yahoo Finance Australia, make sure it's the Australian site, and I'm going to type in a code. I'm going to do Rio for Rio Tinto. Um, then I come across here and I make sure it's the Australian one and go, yep, that's what I want. And it will go and grab me the quotes for the last few days or something like that, which is pretty cool. But um, for me, I want to have all the data there. So if I come across here on the on the left-hand side, there's a thing called historical prices. If I grab that, it will then give me the prices of Rio for a long period of time. And they're all through there. Down the bottom of the page, there's this download to spreadsheet. So I'm just going to click that. And depending on what you're running, it will come up with something. Do you want to save this or open it? I want to open it with Excel. Okay, so I want to take it from the data they've got here and put it into Excel. They'll export it as a CSV file, but don't worry about that. Um, but when, what we'll do is we'll save it as something that we can use later. So if I click on that, oh, I've just got to find it. Where's it gone? It hasn't got here yet. Table 1 CSV. There we go. So it's, uh, it's brought it across for me, and I've got all the stuff here, and that looks pretty cool. I want to save this as... I'm going to go save as, I'm going to put it on my desktop as my share project because I want to put all my sheets into one area, um, which is cool. And when you go share project, I'll just share project one. And then you've got to come down to this bit here and save type as type as a work an Excel workbook and go save. And it'll be there. Beautiful. And now I've got all this data and it goes down all the way down the bottom of the page. If I scroll down, it's just huge. Ripper. Um, I don't need... All I want is one price to be able to work out when to buy it. So I'm going to grab my adjusted close price, and I'm just going to highlight all of them with the arrow. So hold it at the top, drag it across in that little bar there, go right mouse, bit click, and go delete, and it'll get rid of it. So I've got the day that I bought them and the adjusted close. Now, unfortunately, when I look at that, my data starts at the most recent day and ends up at the, at the earliest. So when I draw a graph, it's going to go a bit funny. So if I come across to, if I just highlight these two columns, once again, sort and filter and it, look, it tells me oldest to newest or newest to oldest. I want to go oldest to newest. If I go click like that it'll flip them around for me and now I start with 2003 which is my earlier date and right down the bottom of the page will be my latest date. So it's all done for me so I've already done that I've swapped them over. So I'll go save. Now before I get too far I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. So this is Rio Tinto. So see down the bottom here this little tab tells me the name so if I double click on it I can just type in Rio so I know what that one is. And if I was going to do a break even or buy sell, I might be able to add a sheet, go buy sell. Beautiful. And by clicking on this one here, I might do a break even as well. So I might uh, set out my little project all in one spreadsheet so I've got it all in one little workbox. So I've got it together. All right, I got a Rio. Now I'm going to do a moving average. I'm going to do a 10 day. Okay. And you might do a 10 day and you might do a 50 day. Okay. It works out the same no matter what you do. So I'm going to do two of them, it's up to you, and I'm going to draw a graph. So a 10-day moving average takes the prices for 10 days and finds the average of them. So if I start at number 2 here and come down to number 11, that gives me 10 pieces of data in there. Now I want to find the average of all of them. Okay. Now once again in Excel, if we go equals, it gives us a formula. If we type in average, do a bracket, and highlight it, that and make sure then you put a bracket at the end of that. That will now give me the average of those first 10 numbers, which is 34.48. When I go down to the next one, I want to find the average of those numbers. I want to get rid of the one at the top there and move down and grab the next 10. And then the next day down, the same thing happens. I want to get rid of the top two numbers and come down to there. And that's why it's called a moving average, because the average moves down the date periods that you're looking at. Now, Excel's fantastic, because if I drag my little mouse cross and it goes to a black cross and drag it down to there, it will now do the average from B3 to B12. So that's B3 to B12. So notice that it's knocked off that top one there. So it's actually doing what I want it to do. The other beauty about Excel is if I come to this here and double, just double click on it, so my little mouse has gone from the white cross, hasn't got the little starry bits on it, but it's just got the solid black cross, and just go double click, it will fill all the way down to the end of that table and I'm done. So that's my moving average for 10 days all the way through to the end of the table. Fantastic. So if I come down to 50 days, so I've got to go to 51 days, because my first day's got a header on it, and go equal, average, oops, it's even better if you spell it properly, and then come across to my share price, and highlight all the way up to the top, put a bracket at the end, hit enter, 
it now works out the average for the first 50 days. And to do it to the end of the table, come to there, and just double click, and it will fill all the way down. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a graph of that. I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom because I can't be bothered. So I'm going to go grab them like that. Beautiful. Go to insert, line graph, grab that one there, and for me, it draws me a beautiful line graph which looks just sensational. How cool is that? But you might be looking at that going, hang on a tick, why does my red line start there and my green line start there? Well, it's a 10 day average, so that's 10 days after the beginning. That's 50 days after the beginning. You've got your graph and it looks okay, but notice how this scale is pretty shocking. It's got everything kind of hanging up there. So let's change the scale. So if we just click on this area here, it'll be highlighted. If you go right mouse click, it will come down with, oops, make sure you get that one, format axes. And it tells you what you can do. It's done it automatically, but we want to fix it. Our lowest one is about 20, 27. So I'm going to change this to fixed. I'm going to change it to 26. And my highest, let's have a look at what they've got up there. Oh, look, I'm going to go 37. So I can fix it at 37 because then I'll be able to see what's going on. All right, so what it's doing is it's just changing that scale there. The bottom scale is fine. So that's pretty cool for me. If I go close, I've now got a graph that looks a bit better. I can actually see what's going on. Okay, I can label these series, which I'd do. I'd say share price. That, that series one should be share price. So you can go in there and change that to, um, you can just double click on it and it will come up with uh, the words there. So you can just ed edit them if you need to. Um, I don't delete the series, but leave them there. So you change that one to share price, change that one to 10 day moving average and maybe 50 day. Um, and then you'd have to put a label at the top of the graph and stuff like that, which you use for these things here. Okay, so that gives you a really good way of being able to, um, oh, that's bad, don't do that one. Um, that will give you a way of being able to draw your graph and you can make some discussions. So that's your moving average thing, and from that you can work out when to buy and sell your shares.